So there's lots of videos going around of people doing squats at home, which is great. Squat solutions at home. Uh, obviously home workouts are hard uh, to get enough weight on the bar and that's the problem I see in a lot of people's videos that they're doing currently. So you'll see like somebody demonstrating some squats uh, or lunges or something at home where it's just body weight and they're literally just kind of like pumping them out nice and easy and then you know they do 10 reps or something like that. Um, and you know, they've got about 55 reps left in the tank. So there's literally a pointless exercise unless your only goal is to burn a couple of calories in which way, in case it's probably more efficient to go for a walk. Um, so we need to work out some way to weight these because we want to get them one, two, three, four reps from failure max. Um, and unless you want to be doing 100 reps, uh, body weight um, is not going to suffice. Um, so obviously, if you have kettlebells or dumbbells at home, this would be my first go-to um, outside of like a barbell or something, but obviously not many people are gonna have that. Um, so we're just gonna demonstrate how to do a proper, proper goblet squat, because even these I see screwed up by most people in the way that I like to do them. So I'm gonna find a ledge, which I'm gonna heel elevate on first. Nice and equal balance heel to toe and then from here shoulder width toes a little bit out uh, turned out here elbows just in front of my body push forward like this now I'm gonna take a big breath tuck and my knees are gonna come forward and I'm gonna stay as upright as I can and get right to the bottom so you can see how I'm using a nice slow tempo making sure I use full range of motion and kind of making this as difficult as I can be uh, because if I want to get even close to failure and get a stimulus out of it I'm going to have to make it tough um, second option simple backpack this one isn't weighted well not much anyway but um, books Anything that's kind of semi-symmetrical that you can load that's uh, going to be somewhat balanced, super useful. I will chuck it on the front, if possible. Because that front load is going to be a little bit easier to make this right. Same thing, reaching forward. A bit wider. If that's still not heavy enough, if neither of them are heavy enough, we can chuck it on the back and grab the kettlebell and do that in the hands, combine them. Uh, you, if that's still not enough, slow that tempo down, add in pauses along the way, don't let your technique falter. Like I said, you wanna get at least four reps from failure, but preferably even a little bit closer to one reps from failure, whether that's uh, 10 reps, 20 reps, doesn't really matter as long as you get close to failure, you're gonna get something out of it. So uh, tag us in your squat videos and let us know what you think. 